Have you ever wondered why late night snacking makes you feel sluggish, hungrier the next day, and even heavier over time? The truth is, it is not just about the calories. Late night eating literally wrecks your hormones, rewiring the very signals that control your hunger, energy, and fat storage. Stay with me because once you understand what's happening inside your body, you will think twice before you take that midnight snack. Welcome to Wellness Health Services Health Talks. I'm Dr. Joshua Derito, a family physician. In this, I have interest in public health and cancer prevention and treatment. In this video, we are going to look at uh, why late night uh, snacking is lacking your hormones and putting you at risk of getting uh, obesity, uh, hypertension, and even uh, diabetes. Your body runs on a 24-hour rhythm, what we call the circadian clock. It is structured in a way that uh, it starts uh, with the sleep, then there is a wake-up time, and the clock uh, continues like, like that. At night, uh, your body expects rest and not food. So when you eat late, uh, you draw this system out of balance. And this is uh, what uh, happens when you take that late night food. So once, uh, as I've said, uh, what does happen when you eat late? One, there's a hormone called leptin. This is the hormone that makes you feel satiety or you feel full. So uh, at night, uh, due to that rhythmic circadian rhythm of the body control system, this hormone is at its lowest uh, levels. So when you eat at night, this satiety hormones is low. You do not have that feeling. It takes longer to get that feeling of fullness. Then there is another hormone called ghrelin, uh, which is the hunger hormone, uh, which is the hormone that makes you eat. So at night, this hormone goes high because there is no counterbalance with leptin. So you crave for more and you end up eating more. So then cortisol. I've talked a lot in uh, many of my videos about this hormone cortisol. And if you want to know more about cortisol, you can check one of the videos in some of the previous videos in the overall health YouTube channel. It is your stress hormone. And what happens, it spikes when you eat at night. Of course, hormones, cortisol is a stress hormone. And so uh, it uh, stimulates the secretion of insulin, which is uh, uh, meant to prepare you uh, with insulin and also starts uh, uh, storing the excess uh, glucose into glycogen and also fat. So it makes you uh, store more fat as belly fat. Then insulin sensitivity falls so that your body stores more uh, of uh, the food you take uh, late at night as fat instead of burning it. So uh, in short, you have become, your body becomes hormonally imbalanced. So at the end of it all, if you are used to eating late in the night, uh, you risk uh, gaining more weight, you risk uh, more craving, and so that means eating more, and it means more sleep, it means insulin resistance, it means a risk of getting diabetes. So what does science show? Uh, this is not just theory. Uh, this is what science says. There's a Harvard study that was done uh, between uh, same people with the different characteristics and they, they fed the same amount of food, same foods, and they, they found that eating late at night lowered leptin, uh, the satiety hormone, and raised uh, your hunger levels the next day, that making you uh, eat more. 
So there was a cell metabolism trial that uh, was done and it showed that late night eaters uh, burned fewer calories and stored more as fat uh, despite eating the same amount of food as their counterparts. So these, these are two groups of people. One group feeds the same amount of food but feeds early, like around six. Another one uh, feeds the same amount of food, feeds at night. The people who feed late, they have more uh, likely to store more fats. So at the end of it all, they have more berry fat, they will have more visceral fat, and they are more likely to get insulin resistance, and they will have more uh, of what they have consumed stored as fat. Then there was another study that was done by John Hopkins uh, uh, University, and uh, it showed that uh, late night uh, diners increased uh, their glucose, uh, increased their insulin levels, increased their cortisol levels, and these are the three red flags for weight gain and uh, diabetes. So feeding at night uh, puts you at risk of uh, getting more berry fats, puts you at risk of getting diabetes, uh, makes you sleep uh, badly, and of course sleep is also one of the Poor sleep leads to more increase in cortisol. Cortisol, again, uh, stimulates uh, insulin secretion, uh, turning glucose into fats again, increasing your body fat. So it becomes a vicious cycle of uh, poor health uh, indicator. What does this mean uh, to those who snack often at night? They struggle with stubborn body fat. They wake up groggy despite seven to eight hours of sleep because eating late disturbs your sleep. They feel hungrier during the day because of the hormone ghrelin and low leptin levels and they are at higher risk of diabetes and obesity. Of course, we have, talked, we have shown this uh, through the video. So this is not about uh, your willpower. It is about the biology. So your hormones have been hijacked uh, by this right, uh, late night eating and you get the consequences. So how do you break uh, this cycle? Uh, because it is not only, sometimes we do not make that choice to feed late at night. But it is usually important that you set out a cut of time to stop feeding. To be able to enjoy your sleep, to be able to get the benefits of your sleep, Put it that two to three hours before bedtime, uh, do not uh, take a heavy meal. Uh, then uh, also stay hydrated. Uh, many, time, many night time craving could just be that you are thirsty and what you need is more water than the food. Then uh, if you have to eat at night, uh, have a protein rich dinner. This keeps you fuller and also uh, stabilizes uh, your blood sugar. Remember, proteins do not uh, stimulate the secretion of uh, uh, insulin as carbohydrates do. Then, a uh, half-night routine swap. Uh, replace snacking with things like tea or journaling or reading. Then, if you must snack, choose a small protein leash, uh, low-sugar uh, food uh, that will not uh, rise your insulin levels, and that will also affect uh, the hormonal balance. So remember, it is not just the perfection, but it is about the consistency. As I've said, consistency beats intensity. So you may not be able to achieve it all at once, but if you consistently build small habits that will help you stop this late night eating uh, consistently, finally you will achieve that and you will be able to control your weight, control your, reduce your risk of getting diabetes, and also reduce your risk of uh, getting very fat. And I've seen many people who present to me, they have been struggling uh, to lose weight, but because of these hormonal challenges, and because of these small habits that we've acquired over time, then we have a lot of difficulties uh, controlling our, our weight. So the more nights you respect your body's uh, crock, the stronger your hormones become and the more they protect you. So late night snacks, uh, they may feel harmless, 
but they confuse your hormones, they slow your metabolism, and they rob you of the energy. Protecting your night means protecting your hormones. And when your hormones are balanced, then you sleep better, you feel better, you live better, and you avoid uh, chronic conditions like uh, obesity, diabetes, and uh, metabolic syndrome. So tonight, before you reach for that food, uh, stop and ask yourself, do I really need this meal? And that will help you making smarter choices even after dark. If this video has opened your eyes, uh, hit the like button. Also share it with a friend who is a late night diner. And also subscribe to the Overall Health YouTube channel for more science-backed uh, health tips. And if you are struggling with diabetes, hypertension, metabolic syndrome, or even obesity, then subscribe to the, our Health Inside 360 program for doctor-guided coaching program that will help you to get your body, your body back uh, normal weight uh, without uh, struggles with lifestyle changes. Thank you for watching. We meet in my next video. Please comment below uh, if you are a neat right uh, diner what you are going to do to try to reverse this habit. Thank you for watching. We meet in the next video.